Hello Aries! Thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Daily Matero by Renata Lechner. For the sort supportive oracle cards, magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish. Lucy Cavendish. Alright. Already shuffled. Four, five, six. Seven. That's a wall. Look what's up with that. Okay, what's going on? It's all over here again. What are you heading towards? Is it good, bad, or indifferent? Is it? Okay, I don't know. You're you're heading like you're heading for this moment. It's like a wall. I feel like you're heading for this thing. But is it is it good or bad? That's the question. Where you're starting off with this situation? Where you're starting off with it, maybe you're making this better for yourself, not for nothing. Because you're starting off here, the Three of Swords, with you and whoever you're dealing with. Nobody's happy. I just feel like nobody's happy. But you're stuck, you feel like you're stuck in this situation. For some of you, this could be a job. This could be a job where you're just, I gotta have a paycheck. And I don't see other things. And I don't see something else coming forward or that I can get that would match the paycheck or the distance or whatever you got. For some reason, you just feel stuck. It doesn't have to be a work thing. It could be, <laughs> it could be other things. But I'm getting nobody's happy and you're feeling locked in and stuck. Could be something else going on, but I'm getting a very vacant feel here with the environment. The situation is just not going well and you, you're just feeling trapped. So... This makes sense for Aries for me. All right, so the situation is no, no good. Not good, not fun, feeling trapped. But it's my experience, and I do have some Aries in my chart, where it's just like, that only goes along for so long to where you're like, listen, I can't stand this. There has to be something else. Even if I have to work two jobs, if, for example, if we're going to do that, that might be better, might be, might be, than what I have to deal with now. And I just feel like it's just kind of like, it's getting to the part where organization starts popping up with like, I need to see this. I need to really like, I need to go through this. I need to sort it out. What other options do I have? What other possibilities? Because I feel like this situation, you really don't like it. And you're like, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm fed up with feeling like I'm trapped. And it's really, I feel like it's kind of aggravating you. Just kind of like, I'm fed up with it. I'm fed up feeling like this. This can't be the truth. There has to be a way to do something, to do something. All right, so we're going forward next. This this is interesting to me because you got the Four of Pentacles. I, I, I really, for example, if we're going to use the work thing again, whatever the situation is, you're not happy, you're feeling trapped, you're starting to see options, but you're starting to see options that you don't really, you're not really, uh, you're not sold on these options. I feel like you're holding on to a situation that you don't like because the options you see coming towards you, you're just kind of like, oh, well, I mean, life might just have a different type of stress or you're just like, I don't know if that's really going to make me happier. I just feel like you're holding on because you're like, I'm not just going to jump just to jump. I, I want something better. You're looking for something that you believe is better. And you have certain requirements here. But I feel like you're starting to unearth a different way to do things. And you're starting to look at this like, I do have possibilities. Are they possibilities I want or like? Yeah, mm, I don't know. But this is kind of like you're digging deeper. You're like, well, if I'm finding this, there's got to be more. I'm just not, just, this is my first, first opportunity to do something different. Not really, not really what I want. But, you know, I think there's more out here. Let me keep looking. I won't completely negate that out, but I'm going to keep looking. Because I feel the four here is you're not giving in right away. Just because you find another option doesn't mean you're jumping on it just because you found one. You're working with other people. You got that ten of cups popping in. I feel socially you're getting the word out there. You're finding other options. You're talking things out. You may not be the only person in this situation that's very unhappy. You're working with other people. I'm getting this Ten of Cups. 
you seem to be feeling a lot better, not with the actual situation that's not going well, but because you're starting to feel better like I have options. I feel like it's pulling down the stress a lot because whatever the situation is, I feel you detaching from it. I feel it's kind of like I've had enough and it's just kind of you're there, you're doing what you have to do, but you're emotionally becoming detached because you've had it. And I feel like you're seeing other options, you're seeing better things come your way. And to you, it's just like, well, it's only a matter of time now before I find what I want. I just feel a lot of this is feeling better because you've decided I'm not going to continue with this any longer. I just got to make my decision and decide which option I want. I feel like your investment in whatever this situation is, it, you're numb to it. You're just like, whatever happens, you know, sun rises, goes down, rises again. You know, life happens. So where you're, this is the end of where you're, it's, it's, it's detached a little bit. It's coming down here a little bit. It all happens at once. Three of wands. You're, you're moving on. That's, that's, you're choosing a new option. You're definitely choosing a completely new option. The Hierophant with the Four of Wands. You're addressing this last situation. But you're definitely, you're, I, I just feel like you're tying up the loose ends where necessary, and then you're going right into the next situation. I do feel like you're tying up loose ends. But it's kind of like, how do I want to put this? It's kind of like if you have to clean up a room, you just shove it all in a box and you're like, well, this is all junk anyway. You can throw that out. Let's just wipe down this floor quick. You're not about making it pretty, but you'll clean it up because it needs to be done. You're not going to make it all nice, nice, perfect, perfect. You're just like, I'll get it done, but I'm just going to get through it to get it. I'm just going to get it done and do it in a way just to get through it. I just need to get it done and then I'm moving on. That's the Hierophant. I'll I'll tie up my responsibilities, but then I'm down. I'm out. I'm not I'm not gonna put a pretty bow on it. I'm not gonna make it all sweet and sugary. Nope. I'm done. But I'll do what I'm supposed to do before I leave and you're going right into the next situation. Is that correct? That's how it feels. Okay, good. I literally feel you're healing the situation for yourself. Like, when you see that healing card, you'll see that lady, but you'll notice the candle is out. And she's completely out as well. She's asleep. You just are over that situation. I, I'm, I'm getting that numbness from, like, letting it go. That numbness is carrying through for a while. You're not interested in being upset about it, thinking about it, dealing with it. You tied up your loose ends. You did what you needed to do. You weren't going to make it pretty. You moved on. And then you're... I feel like you're just letting it go in the sense of, like shutting down even thinking about it. You're concentrating on the future. You're concentrating on what you need to do now. I just don't think you're going to... I don't feel you thinking about it, which I think is a good thing because when you when you do revisit it later, when you might want to sort out your feelings, I just don't feel like you're energized with any... Like, you're not energized with any angst. So you could just look at it more objectively and like, you know, I'm glad it's over. It was what it was. This is what I got from it. That's, you know... I'm glad it got me to move on. Like, you seem to be just turning off your whole feelings for the situation. Like, you know, eh, I'm done. You know, you're not really, I don't feel you being mean. I really don't. In Aries, if you want to be, you can be if you want to be. I just don't feel like you're gonna. I just kind of like, I'm just, I'm done. I don't want to, I don't have the time to get angry about this. I got other things to do, thanks. And you just move on. You're just like, I don't have the time for this. I don't have the time to get upset about it. I'm just moving on. I'm done. Now, what you're leaving behind, you're, I feel like whatever happened here, it's like you leaving the situation is leaving an emotional spot, leaving a, a, a void. Because I feel like the moon card is there and the, the nine of swords. I don't feel like this is where people thought you were going to go. I, I, I get this weird sense that people expected you to stick with the situation. They weren't expecting you to walk away. You did what was right for you. I think that's the right thing to do. It feels okay to me. It does. People weren't expecting you to do that. There's a void. There's an emotional void, and I feel like people are regretting that they didn't work with you a little more before it came to this. 
I feel people looking at this after the, after the fact and realizing they could have made the situation a lot better for you, you probably would have hung on. Hindsight's twenty twenty though, in this situation. It's too late. I see that the next situation you're getting involved with, you seem to really connect with it very well. This is another reason you're not holding on to any possible negativity with this last situation. You're too happy with the new one. And you're just like, I don't really want to feel bad. I don't want to. I want to enjoy what I'm going towards. I would like, and you're just locking into that. Like, I'd rather be happy. I'd rather enjoy life. I don't need to deal with, I don't need to deal with that past stuff. I don't need to. I left that. I'm just going to enjoy. And I feel like that's why you're literally not thinking about it. You have something good in front of you. You have something to enjoy in front of you. You'd rather be happy. So you're going to be happy. There's no need for you. You're centering on the, the good part. You want to be happy, the more ha like it, I do. I, I'm the uh, law of attraction person, definitely. You're centering on joy. You're pulling in more joy. You're just continuing on that ripple. Why not? I just feel like you're. That's why you're letting it go. Better things to do. Good. All right. I think we're there. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, James for at gmail.com. That's James the number four, Astral at gmail.com. Thank you.